Uh, welcome to the Disaster Chef competition. My name is Martin Johnson. I'm the uh, Development and Innovation Chef at Kenworth. Today we'll be making um, dim sum with a spicy uh, sauce using the basic pasta techniques and we'll be using the Kenwood Chef Sense. Okay, to make this recipe, I'm going to show you the basic skill of making pasta. First of all, add our flour to the bowl. Then I'm going to get some, a little bit of salt, just to give it a little bit of flavor. And then a little bit of water. Then just put the machine down and turn it to a slow speed. We just leave it run until it comes together to form a paste. As the pasta comes together, switch the machine off, take it out and we just need to leave this to rest. What I'll do is wrap it in some cling film and just leave it rest for 20 minutes while we make the other things. Now your pasta's rested, what we do now is start to make our filling. The first thing I'm gonna do is blanch our spinach. Now blanching will cook it, we cook it quickly and then put in some iced water to stop the cooking process. And what that will do is keep all the color and vitamins into it. Sometimes when you get spinach, you get stalks, which we don't really want. What I'm gonna do now is quickly uh, cook the shiitake mushrooms. You can leave them raw into this mix, but I like to cook them just to make sure that they get the full flavor. Okay, and just cut them roughly. To carry on making the filling, we're going to quickly blitz up some of our mushrooms that we've cooked, some of our spinach, some of this uh, spring onion, and a little bit of ginger. need to fit the food processor to the top of the machine. If it doesn't fit first time, just move it off a little bit and then it interlocks because it's the whole interlock within the system. I just chuck all my ingredients in. These have chilled a little bit so they'll be fine. So I can use my hand to do that. And then I just pulse it. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is finish the other part of the filling. To do that, we're going to need some coriander. Okay, just a little bit of that. And I've got some sauces to go in and some salt. But also, we're going to use some fatty pork. And here I've just got a, a pork chop. And all I'm going to do is remove the, the bone. And I'm going to remove some of the rind as well. So I want to take this skin off, but I want to keep as much of the fat as I can because that adds the flavor to the, to the filling. I just added some uh, rice wine, and now what I'm gonna add is some soy sauce. About a couple of tablespoons. We just see what the consistency is of it and whether we want to add a little bit more. Okay, now we're gonna start rolling out our pasta. First thing to do once we've attached the pasta roll, attach them to the machine, is to make sure it's on the widest uh, setting, which is setting one. So, we take out our pasta. And really don't worry about this because it will need to go through a couple of times. What I do for the first couple of goes is just fold it over.
I'll do this a few times until it comes together and it's a nice smooth paste. Okay, now I'm just going to extend, take it down one stage and just take it down one stage at a time. Never jump it. You can just rest it on the back wheel there. And when you pick up the pasta, always use the back of your hand so you don't put your fingers through it. There you have it. This is the basic pasta. So you know you can cut this into any shapes you want. Um, but we're going to fill this with some wonton mix and make some wontons. I'm going to cut this in half and then cut it into little slices of equal size to make little squares. Then we put a little bit of filling in. I'm going to show you how to fill them. Okay, first of all, we just make... You can use a pasta wheel if you like. Try not to stretch them too much. Put it in the middle. Careful not to overfill it. A little bit of water around the side. We're going to make our spicy sauce. So first thing I'm going to do is take the chili, take it off, just cut this in half, and then cut it down. I'm only going to use half of this one, and then just cut it down. One thing obviously not to do after you've done this, of course, is to poke your eye. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of coriander and finely chop it. To make the sauce, I'm going to take a tablespoon of olive oil. Obviously, we need some soy sauce, so about a tablespoon of that. A little bit of sesame oil, but only a little bit because it has quite a strong flavour. Then some rice wine vinegar, or you can use dry sherry. And then I've got some rapeseed infused with chilies, just to give it a little more spice and bite. Now take all those ingredients and then just give them a little stir. Just to finish it, a little bit of salt. Now, uncover that and just leave that in a warm place just to infuse. 